But if we used just these weathered inorganic materials from rocks, our mud pie would be very hard and not particularly good to grow plants in. By adding organic ingredients, our pie will stay soft and moist much longer and be more nutritious and much better for plants. Nature's list of organic ingredients is long. We can divide organic ingredients into three main groups. Dead things, microbes, and larger living organisms such as earthworms. Dead things are mostly from plants, but include animals too. As plants and animals decay, they become part of the soil. Tiny flecks of organic matter get in between bits of rock and keep the rocks from sticking together. The organic flecks also hold water. Plants grow better in this loose soil because their roots can push through easier and it provides water. Dead things also put nutrients back into the soil so other plants can use them again. Recycled nutrients are much easier for plants to use than getting new ones from hard rock. So dead organic things improve soil by making it loose and moist and recycling nutrients. Microbes, our second group of organic ingredients, are tiny living organisms such as bacteria that are too small to see without a microscope. Bacteria and other microbes decay dead things by eating them. Microbes use the dead things energy to live but leave behind many of its nutrients. We want lots of microbes in our mud pie to get rid of dead things and help recycle nutrients. Most good soils have millions of microbes in every handful. The third group of organic ingredients has larger organisms, including earthworms. Earthworms improve mud pie recipes in a number of ways. First, they help recycle leaves by eating them. Then, after digestion, they leave wastes called castings that plants find very easy to use. Worms also loosen and aerate soil. Aerate means to add air. Worm tunnels help air and water go deep underground. They also provide easy growth paths for roots. Finally, worms mix the soil. They bring deep soil up and take topsoil down. Like the mixer in your kitchen, they blend all the ingredients together. Many other animals, including ground squirrels, help in this final mixing. 